this old guy and his son, and they, li- they grew up in this town that all of the residents believed in good luck and bad luck, but besides, besides them. And so, they, according to the, the town folk, the people, hang on, um, according to the town folk, the farmer and his son were not very fortunate. They only had, like, one, um, horse that was pretty old, it wasn't the best shape, and they had a pretty large farm, too, so they could have seriously used the extra help. And the villagers thought, oh, wow, that's such bad luck, right? And it eventually runs off into the forest. And then the villagers are like, wow, it couldn't get any worse for them. But the old farmer guy says, good good luck, bad luck. It's pretty hard to tell. And around a week later, that horse that everyone thought was gone, and the villagers are like, wow, that's so unfortunate for you comes trotting back into town with five young horses. I don't, I think it's like a pony or something, but five five young horses that come back with it. And all the villagers are like, wow, that's such amazing luck. And once again, the farmer just says, good luck, bad luck, it's hard to tell. And then around a couple of days later, the old man's son, is training the horse to help them in the field and he falls down and breaks his leg and the villagers are like you can't do anything with a broken leg you gotta wait like months for it to heal that's such awful luck and then as you might have guessed the old man is like good luck bad luck it's hard to tell and around a day later um I forget how it goes. Yeah, the the bunch of army guys pull up to his house and are like, "Yeah, we're looking for people to draft, and we're looking at your son." But they then they saw that he had a broken leg and that he couldn't be drafted. And then once again, the man said, "Good luck, bad luck. It's hard to tell."